Hello everybody and welcome back to OpenTTD tutorial series and in this little episode here we're gonna do a little feeder station to this one and uh, I think we're gonna build another terminus station here so we can uh, remember what we just learned as you can see it just recorded the other episode so close these ones down and borrow the money back oh, I'm not allowed to borrow money while paused generally you're not allowed to do anything while past in the game but well not much we manage a few trains or something but let's start by building the uh, second here and normally I would have to put the train uh, station up right next to this one right now I'm just pressing the control key and here you can see I can build a separate station or I can join the station just like we did over here earlier with the uh, railroad station so we got that built and I'm just gonna check to see where we'll be landing. We'll be landing right there. And I'll see if the trains, uh, well, we need to be stationed here. So we need to move the tracks a little bit. But this, so this is the optimal place. Well, optimal, optimal. I'll uh, raise this because with the terminal station, we need a little bit of track in front do this three tracks the crossover and the normal line here normal line out the yellow for the in route and the white for the station route and let's go over to the other end here and build the same this is exactly the same as you would do building a normal terminus. So this you can just take as a little, um, what can I say, reminder of what you were to do. And the yellow on this side, the white on the station. Oh, and you need both there. And building the depot. And let's build the tracks um, as you can see here we're actually going a bit up and down and right now I'm just gonna level it up I can do the leveling tool and there we go doesn't matter over here because we're gonna be going up or down one at one point anyway because these two stations aren't uh, leveled, so might as well just go down right away. And I'll do it here. I'll take this one a little bit further. And you see, now we've connected. So this uh, normal terminus, except one thing, we need to finish these signals. And with the control key, and dragging and remember to set the length of your drag here how many uh, spacings you need to between the uh, signals and now we're beginning to do something that's a little bit different from the uh, feeder station than the different ones so I'm still building the train here but now we're gonna do here and full load Again, just full load any cargo and then we're gonna go to this station but if we were to go here it would not uh, dump all the uh, goods it had on it it would just go back and forth with a full load of the f initial one they got because this station is also full of coal uh, so what we're doing here is we're gonna do unload all first again you can just do this it's the best to leave it empty so instead of unload all you can do that in a, if it's a station where it doesn't have the same but if it has the same uh, supply it has coal here as you're supplying you need to do the transfer so that is actually the basics of it you can now uh, just send this one and it's train tracks and I'll clone this one and send out another one and what you'll notice now is they'll go here and fill up 
but as we already know, the station will not be supplying until we get the first train in. And I'll make this one just skip. And move the speed a little bit up. And as you can see now, there came a different um, money sign up. There was actually, I'll see when this one gets in. It was yellow when it came up. We're used to the green one, which is uh, income, and the red one, which is um, expenses. And now, as you can see here, it's coming a yellow one, which is going to be the transfer one. Zero. That is because uh, in the original game, if you made these routes, they would just make negative money. But the, what the programmers have done now is they have calculated uh, some of uh, the income that these this coal will generate, uh, um, depending on the distance it's been traveled, and then from here where it's going further. So instead of making the entire trip from here over to here, uh, calculating once, it's separating them up, making it a transfer cost. The reason for that is a little bit easier for you to go in here and see how much profit this train has been making. If it didn't do this, it will just be constantly losing money this train and it will be very difficult for you to... Uh, check out how your trains are doing in the long run but the station we built here earlier as i said we will most likely have an extra train on that in the long run and we can just put it on now because we've actually made a feeder station but the what's the idea of feeder station well it's gonna be easier for you to have this uh, trains here with a uh, high volume supplying in and you can see here I think there's a coal mine more here I could do another uh, feeder station here just uh, actually build two tracks more here and I could just build over here oh that was even a coal mine that <laughs> well that was a wood uh, um, yeah it's a sawmill but if it had been a coal mine I could have just built over here and then added another income to this uh, this already existing route. As you can see, we haven't built that much, but we're making a good amount of cash. Already this year, in August, we've made more than we did last year. And we spent 17,000 more during this year, and that's including building three trains. As you can see, new vehicles is actually the uh, almost 100 uh, thousand of the price and the uh, tracks of construction is only 20,000 so uh, now you can see how the money is not going to be an issue with these routes and these are waiting and these are waiting but I hope this helped you a little bit with the feeder stations uh, I know I've been doing this mainly with uh, well only with coal in the, to begin with here but um, you can do this with anything um, so Hope this was helpful. See you guys later. Bye.